Hello and welcome to another episode of 7 O'Clock Spurs with me, Jack Bryden. Up first tonight, we're just going to reflect on deadline day last night. Now, we know a lot didn't happen. There were certain things that we were hoping for. We were looking to get a striker in, but none of that happened. We did manage to get rid uh, of a few players, though, so we're lightening the uh, wage bill. Andros Townsend went for just over 12 million quid to Newcastle. We weren't expecting probably to get that much money for him, even though we did want 14 million. But it's a good deal. Uh, also, we got rid of Shaq Coolthurst, Milos Velkovic, Kenny McAvoy. Fazio went to Sevilla on loan. Uh, Pritchard went to West Brom. So, you know, we, we got a lot of people out of the door, a lot of people that weren't getting much time, people that we do want to get some game time and then bring back off loan. So we also brought in Shiloh Tracy, if you remember, at the start of the window for just over, uh, I think it was about 0.2 million quid. So Daniel Levy has done well to balance the books. Yes, he's doing business correctly, but was he exciting in the transfer window? Let us know what you think about uh, Daniel Levy and what Spurs did in the transfer window. My opinion, I'm not that bothered, to be honest with you. We've got people like Son and Chadley who can do jobs in the backup for Kane. Um, but is that something that you agree with? Let me know in the comments section below. Second up, uh, just also reflecting on the players that we missed out on now. Demarai Gray ended up going to Leicester. We wanted him. He did look very sharp when, when he played against us. I think it was in the FA Cup. Uh, he's a player that I was also hoping would come to the club, but we missed out on him. Berahino, we all know everything about that saga. Uh, I was also not that sure whether I wanted him to come. Yes, he's a good striker, but he brings all the baggage with him. So let me know whether you wanted Berahino, actually. I'd also like to know your thoughts on that. Moussa Dembele, though, is the one that I was hoping to really get into the club. He's young, he scores goals. And he just looks like a good striker that would fit in for backup for Harry Kane. Now, it is a bit worrying that we don't have an out-and-out -out striker to back Harry Kane up should he get injured. But we've got the players, like I say, in Chadley and Son and other players that are chipping in with goals uh, that you know could help Kane out if things don't go to plan. It is a bit worrying, but I'm hoping that we can at least get a top four and possibly challenge for that title. Do you think we can win the title? Let us know in the comments section below. Now, up third, a uh, bit of news today. Mr Dan Walker of Football Focus has tweeted today that in the past 72 hours, three knowledgeable individuals have suggested Pochettino to Old Trafford for next season. Now, in my opinion, that's a load of tosh. If you're Pochettino and you've got the project that you've got at the moment, you've got a new stadium coming up, you've got all these players loving playing for you, a little element of fear in there, they've got you playing great football, there's great team camaraderie at the moment, and it's just a great project that's going on at the club at the moment. I don't see him leaving uh, the club next season, I just don't do it, especially if we get top four, especially, well, we're title contenders, I'm not going to say that we're title challenges shall I say, I'm not going to say we're going to win the league, I'm not saying that, so don't rib me for that, but we're title contenders, so you know, why would you leave a club that's in such a good situation at the moment? Do you think we'll keep hold of Poch uh, for, the, for the next few years to come, or do you think that Dan Walker's right in saying that he'll be at Old Trafford next season? Obviously, United are having a spot of bother at the moment, they're not playing the most exciting football, fans aren't really happy with Van Gaal, and he's under a lot of pressure to get the results. So is it a potential thing that could happen? As I say, in my opinion, mainly because I don't want it to happen, but in my opinion, I don't think that's going to be something that will materialise at all, at least for the next few years. So fingers crossed, Potch stays. And that's it for today's 7 o'clock Spurs. Make sure to come back tomorrow. Also, make sure to follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and like this video. Come on, you Spurs. Today, this little piece here is about the five things we learned from the Colchester FA Cup game on Saturday that we won 4-1. And let's face it, guys, it was a workmanlike performance.